Hey everybody, welcome to the third edition of the Coffee Date Thursday series. This um, week's topic is Easter and it was basically like whatever you want to vlog that has to do with Easter. So I'm going to do a couple different things, um, but today I just wanted to do like an Easter haul and kind of an explanation of our Easter and I guess I could put you back on the tripod and talk for a minute um, because it kind of ties into it kind of ties into my haul what I bought for the kids so what <sighs> our Easter is we are Christian we're Bible believing Christians and Easter to us is Jesus was crucified on Good Friday, the Friday before Easter. Um, he was the ultimate sacrifice to pay for our sins, and without him and without that sacrifice, life is nothing without faith in Christ. Life is nothing. There is no eternity without him. Well, there is. There's an eternity in hell, and as Bible-believing Christians and... Um, all of our family except the baby have accepted salvation in Christ so we all know we're going to heaven but Easter is when our when Jesus Christ rose from the dead when he appeared to the disciples at the house when Mary when the two Marys went to dress him in spices and he was gone and his burial linens were laying there folded up and he was gone he was raised from the dead Easter is the day that our Christ was raised from the dead and we celebrate that we go to church um, we have our family dinner you know traditional stuff and then but we also we don't tend to shy away from the secular like Easter egg hunts and um, Easter baskets and the, my kids know about the Easter Bunny but they know that just like Santa it's just fun um, so the Easter Bunny brings them eggs and such but they know it's just play and it's really Nana or Papa doing it um, but it's fun and that's what we do with the kids especially if it's nice I'm hoping that it'll be nice through the weekend um, also but, okay, I'm trying to think of how to, like, put this together. Um, I've decided this year, for the past couple years, I've bought the kids Easter, Easter baskets. Um, and then, of course, like, Nana and Papa get them Easter baskets, and my great-grandmother gets them something. Like, they already have giant Easter bunnies from them, from my great-grandmother. And Tyron got, like, a big... Hot Wheels, Tonka, whatever truck from her already for Easter. Um, my grandparents bought resurrection eggs for them. And we're going to do those probably on Good Friday. Um, which is tomorrow. Uh, um, but for the most part, I'm not doing like the whole Easter basket buying them Easter baskets this year because they've already got stuff they've already got toys and my grandparents will probably like do candy or something and that's not bad I'm just I'm not gonna add to it you know that can be a Nana and Papa special thing but I'm not gonna add to it because a lot of the like store-bought Easter baskets are full of junk that'll last two days and then end up broken or laying on the floor or something and I have to throw it away so John and I are not buying the kids Easter baskets however I did not want them to feel um like we weren't gonna do anything for them so I did go out and I bought a couple things uh, having to do with egg dyeing and a couple fun things for them but things that will last more than two days um and things that they're not gonna eat like a whole package of candy and be done in two days um I got them some play stuff so I'm going to show you what I got and do kind of an explanation on that and then I hope to do an egg dying video haha -ha. 
I mean, I just laugh at that because I'm not sure when I'll get it done, but I bought stuff to dye eggs and they really like doing that. So the two big ones will probably dye eggs. But I'll show you what I got for the kids for Easter. So for their Easter gifts from me and John, we got them kites. Um, it used to be a family, like a tradition, we'd go down to the park and we'd fly kites with my family. And I'm hoping we can start doing that again if it's nice. Um, so we got them, Brooke got an Elsa one and Ty, we got Ty a Spider-Man. Cause they didn't have the flash. He's really into the flash, but they didn't have it. So Spider-Man or Iron Man, but they didn't have Iron Man. And then for egg dyeing stuff, I got, I got a food coloring and I'm just gonna dye our own eggs. I'm not gonna buy an egg dyeing kit because those are kind of cruddy. But got neon and regular, so I'll make our own dye and we'll dye our eggs. Or I got these, I saw on Facebook that you can like tattoo your eggs. So I got garden, well it says fantasy, I'm hoping they're nice but 50 fantasy garden tattoos. So, oh, here they are. <laughs> Duh. So it's stars and flowers and butterflies and such that maybe if they want to, they can tattoo their eggs instead. Um, so I got those. And then they have a bubble blower. It's over on the table. So I got a giant thing of bubbles because they will stand out here and do their bubbles forever. <laughs> so we got a giant thing of bubbles and then I got sidewalk chalk because we have sidewalk all the way around the side of the house um, and I didn't get like you don't have to get you don't have to get expensive stuff to keep kids happy um, so they each get a pack of chalk that they can use out on the sidewalk or out on the driveway and the last thing I got is jello and I got cherry lime orange and berry blue because somewhere <laughs> somewhere in all of our Easter stuff we have like egg jello egg molds you know so I'm gonna try that um I'm gonna try to make jello eggs for them I think that'd be kind of fun that's what well we didn't get that's what we got for the kids for Easter was a couple things you know, things that they'll really play with, things that they'll really like, because the kites and the bubbles and the chalk. And then I think they'll have fun dyeing their eggs with the tattoos and color that I bought. So that's all for my Easter video. That is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a happy uh, Veda day number two if you do Veda. As always, Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow for Veda day number three. Happy coffee date, guys. Bye.